G'day mate and welcome back to Hitting Factorio Below the Belt with me, JD. So, I'm looking at our little satellite build, and I was looking at our satellite build above, which, which, for the record, our silo is here. And I decided let's, let's just put satellites on a belt, because it was easier to put satellites on a belt to complete my objection, uh, objective of just putting satellites on belts. You know, having everything deli delivered by belts. And consequently, we've built up a bit of a satellite buffer. Um, that's one hell of a buffer. We're actually all the way down to, to this underground here. So, we've almost you know completed our, our, our buffer. In fact, it looks like batteries is what's holding us up at the moment. Which is probably an oil problem overall. Uh, where's our petroleum? Yeah, it's a petroleum problem. Yep, not an oil problem, a petroleum problem. Uh, more speed modules needed. Yeah, actually now, whilst we've got speed modules, let's go fix that real quick. Because, you know, not launching rockets is, is, is a horrible thing. Uh weave through all these builds somehow. Uh, you guys need more speed beacons. Now we've actually got satellites running at full speed. Who leaves this water here? Thank you. Coming through. Really? You're not in the network. You know, just in case we needed more landfill. Uh, speed modules. Because we can afford to. Uh, you guys are still producing rocket fuel at probably not a brilliant rate. Because like I said, this, this build... It works on a technicality that it works, but it doesn't work terribly well. It works. Uh, that emptied our buffer. You guys are producing rocket fuel, a thousand miles an hour. Like I said, probably still not fast enough. What the hell's that pipe? Acid. Yeah, we did have an acid problem. We still do have an acid problem. Not enough acid, which is caused by... Just purely not enough production. Uh... Mm, speed module, uh, speed beacon. to be doing satellites this episode. Not screwing around with this crap. Uh, clear that out. Sure, one speed beacon. Uh, let's go with... Two speed beacons. Uh, here and there. We could put productivity modules in, in a lot of these now, actually. Uh, oh, that didn't last long. Deliver more bots. Deliver, deliver more, more bots. Let's just put a one in front of that. Oh, where's a rover board? Yeah, we are standing in range. Um, so I've been looking at this mess. This mess that we partially designed. And I came to a couple of conclusions. 
first off, we need we need three satellites per minute. Which satellites need hundred processing units, which are going to be made in the processing unit build. Hundred low density structures, which we've actually made. We've actually built that build right here. Uh, per minute, 336. We only need 300. Um, rocket fuel, which we made as part of the rocket fuel build. Accumulators, which we've made as part of the accumulator build. So literally, the only things I need to do on site are solar panels and radars. Now, this little contraption that we half built, which was copper plate into here... Iron into here and into green circuits. Green circuits into here is overkill. Way, way, way overkill to make the amount of satellites we need. So really, it's just the solar panels. And we need, at the current speed beacons that I've got set up, we only need four and a half machines. Um, there's five machines at 337 per minute. And originally I wanted to make this as a nice self-contained build. But then I thought about it, I'm like, really... Like, as soon as I've got steel on the bus, green circuits on the bus, and copper on the bus, I can then have all those compressed into um, solar panels and put on a belt. And they're not going to use much of a belt. They'll use bugger all of a belt. Um, if there's anywhere close by, which I assume there would be, we can put radars on the other half of the belt, or accumulators, or whatever it happens to be. Whatever's the next item, we can put that on the other half of the belt. As soon as we've got all the components together, I could put down the satellite build and the low density structures right there and then make satellites and put them on a belt. And do as I've done here with a belt all the way up to here with nothing but satellites on it. Like it, it's it's really overkill. But if you've been watching for a while, overkill is sort of what I do. Um, it's just part and parcel of a of a JD series. Uh, oh, I need more product heavy modules because we've got a whole nother build to go. Change it to three hundred and fifty. Um, because believe it or not, like rocket fuels, the thing slowing us down at the moment. Hence, speed modules into the oil refineries to burn everything faster. Yeah, they're now maxed out. So then... More, more, more rocket fuel. Maybe speed modules are my answer, not productivity modules. I don't know, we'll do half the build with prod mods and leave the other half to build as is. I really should be productivity at that end and speed at that end, but uh... yeah, two left in the inventory. I think that'll do me. Hopefully that's enough rocket fuel to get things moving. Uh, okay, so we've got you pulling rocket fuel out, which we actually don't need anymore. So let's change you to a request chest and say rocket fuel and say all of it. Delivering 130, 140, still delivering. Like, the chest only fits 48. Or 480, rather. Uh, I imagine there's a fair bit in storage. Yeah, 1,000 in storage. I don't think they're being added to the network anywhere else. Market fuel's coming down that belt, down that belt. Shoved into this and shoved all the way down 
in our low density, which is a request a chest. As a request chest, they'll never be filled because I'm not requesting enough and it's capped. Uh, Largy rocket. Okay, so we've emptied all the rocket fuel out. I keep trashing things. That'd explain it. Come on. So I do want some in the network just in case. And we're just going to put 40 in. We'll stop requesting that. We'll wait for that to empty done. Okay, so rocket's going nice and fast, uh, which brings me back to my science problem, mark two labs. Drag method work. Oh, the drag method works good. Line that up. Zoom all the way in. Drag to place. Because it's only going to place somewhere where it can legitimately place, which is over the existing, over the existing labs, the existing belts. All right. That'll speed science up. Science will go flat out. This will do. This this like like all the chests are full. Um, apart from rocket fuel. And hopefully we've fixed rocket fuel. Mm. Yes, putting a lot of oil in the tank. Yep, we've, we've fi definitely fixed rocket fuel. Not to say it couldn't have more fixing, but you know. Their ratio now? Really? So with speed modules, let's try a one to one. Okay, so a one to one depth ratio. Pull those out. I've, I've never done rocket fuel with, with just speed modules, to be perfectly honest. It's always been with um, productivity and then speed beacons. But I, I don't have enough area to do prob mods at all. can do that. Uh, nope. That's the build I want. And then just throw all my rocket fuel in there. Or uh, all the solid fuel in there. Delete that. Delete that. Uh, place those. Place all the solid fuel done. Alright, go faster. Done. Um, 
I can always change these back to speed modules if needs be. You are now max petroleum. So that could be our next issue, that we just can't use petroleum fast enough. Which means I could, in theory, fix my acid build and, and pump out more acid to make batteries faster. Because... I oh know, acid's backed up now. There's a couple of speed, mo speed beacons did all the tricks. Alright, so, back to the actual mission for this for this episode. Oh, they're priorities. Okay. I saw yellow stuff on a green belt. I got worried. Uh, turns out it's just the arrows. Uh, oh, they're exit belts that are now absolutely cut off and useless. Well, there you go. Back when we weren't, weren't producing blue circuits fast enough. So, this build, essentially, what I'm saying is, all that can go... A whoop. No, I did want... I want that to go away, and I want that to go away. And I want... Some semblance of that to go away. I do want... One, two, three, four, five. Why are you offset? I don't know why you're offset. Okay. I want to hook that up to power so it's not slashing at me. I want to bring in... Yeah, they'll do. Um... Now, I don't know if I can insert into the machine fast enough. That's, that's the other catch. Um, I should be able to. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so if you're doing all those, we need... Okay, let's, let's just get this built. So you need a lot. So that says... Okay, so I've got a calculator, the, the official calculator on one screen, and then I've got max rate calculator here. Now, on a per minute basis, this is saying to run this at max speed, which I may or may not need to do. We need 5,000 green circuits per minute, um, which is over a blue belt's worth. If we go to express belts, it's 2.1 belt. But... The actual official calculator says to just make three per minute, which is the only goal we're looking for, I only need 4,500. Which actually means that I could trim this down. Yeah, I could trim this down and we could change a couple of things. Okay, so let's go with another assembler. We're going to make you make those things. With another assembler to make uh, gears. We're going to go max prod mod on you. Uh, okay, and then we need two green belts into here. Yeah, 4.8 is two green belts. So really what I want to do is I want to bring green belt in. Uh, that didn't work. That went askew real quick. Per second. How much copper is it saying? And it's saying for just the solar panels, I need 1500, which is just over. Uh, 
Well, actually, how about that? So it's 1.55 belts. So we're going to do belt weaving. That's our answer. Alright. I've been holding on to this red belt forever. And this is the exact reason why. Okay. And then red belt. You can go away. Uh, you're going to have to be powered up there. And let's go with there. So you then go as long as possible. You go uh So Red Belt has a much shorter reach. Okay, so stack inserters. So this is going to be for the other materials. Stop going at me. Uh, oh really, you won't reach at all. Okay, so we're going to go really short with you. We'll have to make you take off again. You're going to have to... Okay. You go there, you take off. You land there. You can take off land. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. Something like that. Um, green circuits will come in from the bottom. And we need two belts worth. So, I need to run a second belt. Over here would be the logical spot for it. Uh, or would it? There's a compressed beacon layer. Yeah. I think I need that extra tile back. So we need one, two, three. You go there. Or you go over here. Does that help? No. Because we're going to make that take off again and, and do the others, but I can't, I can't get the materials in here. Okay, what we need to do is chop from there to there. And we're just going to place that there so it's out of the way. Oh, should be all we need. Um, bit of blue belt there is fine. You can technically become red belt. Okay, so then you need to pick up both belts. You need to pick up that belt, and you need to pick it, pick up that belt. Uh, so that'll be our. Copper and our steel will be on one of these two belts. Green circuits will be on that belt. Uh, output will be... We might as well take them out the rear. Uh, 
that's gonna go up one tile. And then we'd run that down into the back of that. And power the whole damn thing up. Okay, so you're gonna do satellites. Here, let's just say, for argument's sake, so that means radars, rocket fuel, and accumulators come in the front. Really, I don't have a single constant combinator. We trashed them all. Uh, you're gonna be solar panels. Um, so it means we still need blue circuits and uh, oh, these guys, these guys. So again, let's reverse these belts. the end. Okay, the build is way longer than I thought it was. So that's that build done. Uh, actually, I think I want to move that up a tile. Another constant combinator. We want you to be those things. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it's only six items required. Uh, now you output out the bottom. And we're just going to have a line of the stuff that we're going to buffer. And that only leaves blue circuits, which we can bring in like so. Alright, why do you not have power? Because I didn't fix it. You now have power. You have power. You have power. That goes away. We are done. We we really, 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 really are done. That was the last build required. Um Oh no, it's not labs! We need a lab build. We need a lab built. Okay, I'm going to leave it here then. We'll do labs in the next episode. Um, we will need to tie this into this along with everything else. Um, how wide is that belt? Two. Yeah, I think I need it three wide to get satellites in and space science out. So that'll have to be moved down by one tile, but that's an easy fix. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, um, we're getting really, 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 really close to the end. And it also means at the same time, I'm going to sync... Well, both series should be synced up by then. So, then I'll actually be trying to place this base and the other base together side by side. You know, an episode at a time. We'll see. Um, and then we'll move on to some of the really crazy stuff, like actually turning it on. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, do hope you're enjoying. And I will see you guys in the next episode. All right.